Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update from me, Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Thank you for joining me for another one of these update videos where we go through some of the things that I fixed, some of the features that I've added. And um, yeah, as always, I want to give a big shout out to all of my supporters on Patreon and LibrePay. Uh, this week's Ride the GNU sponsor is Polyart. Um, I want to give a big thank you um, for allowing me to spend the time on Inkscape that, you know, gets some of these bug fix fixes ready for the uh, for the release. So what have I managed to get on with this week? Um, so one, one of the things that I wanted to do is I wanted to fix a problem with the icons. Um, Inkscape has hundreds and hundreds of I icons. It might not seem obvious from when you just first load Inkscape, but Inkscape uses icons a lot. And we have a number of icon themes. And each one of those themes has to have all of those icons. And they have to be um, <clears throat> consistent between the symbolic themes and the scalable themes. There's basically just a lot of files. And uh, so far, we, we haven't been keeping these consistent between all of the themes, which is a problem because if you turn Inkscape to some of the other icon themes, they break because there are missing files. Um, so what I did is I, I put together some scripts uh, which can produce a report which says, you know, uh, this icon theme is missing this file, this icon theme only has this file in it. Uh, this is says it's symbolic, but it doesn't have the right file name, that sort of thing. Uh, this will go into the CI builder, the, the sort of like developer build, so that any time in the future a developer breaks this, th breaks a, an icon theme, uh, the script will tell them before they can merge into Inkscape, they have to fix the icon themes first. Um, so hopefully it'll reduce the maintenance burden on looking after icon themes. Um, there are a bunch of icons though that are missing, so we're going to have to think about how to draw those missing icons. Uh, or deprecate the tango theme, I guess, because that's where m most of them are missing. Um, so that was the infrastructural improvement. There's a whole bunch of bug fi fixes, so let's go through through them quickly. Uh, I fixed a problem with the sa saving of win window geometry. I fixed a problem with uh, aligning using sh shortcut keys. That was actually a lot more difficult than uh, that simple sentence sentence makes it seem. Uh, fix a problem with the with the pages multi-page toolbar not tracking the page manager when you when you closed the document. Um, I fixed a problem with the extensions where there was underscores in the extension IDs. I fixed a problem with the shadows and the styles and the icon themes from the welcome screen that were either not overriding sometimes or sometimes overriding too much. Uh, so most of those pro problems have been fixed. I fixed a problem with the styled detector. Um, uh, when when the style um, selector was uh, essentially trying to track what classes were in the style sheets, and you do and you closed the documents, they didn't clear and they didn't refresh. So that's been fixed. I fixed Unicode issues in the menus. Uh, I think it was Farsi that was throwing up Unicode errors, but Unicode errors could have happened with any lang language in the, in the menus. I fixed a crash in the Unicode for s snapping guidelines. I fixed a problem where the text tool uh, wouldn't st would stop working as soon as the mouse left the cam canvas. That's actually a regression that I introduced, so it was good to get that fixed. I fixed a whole boatload of issues with the units uh, and the stroke width. Right, so uh, using centimeters or percentages or her line stroke width, um, there's a whole bunch of user experience problems and also consistency problems. Those have all been fixed. That actually took a couple of weeks to fix, but uh, I'm happy that that's all got sorted out. Um, so yeah, a whole bunch of actual bug fi fixes. I did actually manage to add a feature. Now, you'll be aware that we're in feature freeze, which means that this new feature is the first Inkscape 1.3 feature that I've made. Uh, which means you won't see it for a year. So sorry about that. You can always use the developer builds, uh, which is totally cool, but you've got to be aware that like any time going forwards now where I say I've added a new fe feature, it's going to be something that's going to be available in the future. Um, so it's a right click on the ruler to change the display units. So if you want to very quickly change from inches to centimeters or centimeters to millimeters, 
uh, a number a number of people asked for the same f feature and you know when you get a number of people asking for the same thing uh, it's worth spending a bit of time trying to see how possible it is uh, and this one this one worked out well so yeah we have we have a right click men menu now and you can select which one you want um, so that's that's all of the stuff that I've managed to do this week uh, so let's talk about some of the things going on in Inkscape that um, I didn't do. Uh, not a lot going on. There's mo mostly translations that are happening right now. Um, there is a couple though. Let's have a look at my notes. So Ira Syed fixed two problems. First of all, he fixed a Windows op uh, Windows export problem where you, you clicked on an icon and it then wouldn't let you quit. It just kept on opening the, the win window again and again. I actually tried to fix that myself, uh, but I ended up just making some notes about the problem and then he picked it up. Hey, he's a Google Summer of Code student can can candidate, I believe. He also fixed a scroll bar is issue in, this, in the selector dialogue, which is great. Uh, Raphael improved the paint servers in dialogue. This is actually a big piece of work that he's been work working on refactoring. Uh, making that in interface nicer, making it more consistent but behind the scenes. So nice work, Raphael. Thomas uh, fixed a speed prob problem. Loading Inkscape was taking five more seconds than it used to to load because of a very specific way in which the, the command line, the command toolbar interface was being generated. He's fixed a problem uh, which saves that and hopefully Inkscape will load faster now. PBS has added a workaround for some of the reported flickering of the cam canvas and uh, improved some memory tracking so that uh, Inkscape shouldn't crash as much because the, the objects get destroyed at the right time. Um, but that's it. Um, thank you very much for watching this update and uh, please let me know in the comments if you're trying the beta. Um, let me know what you're in, interested in me working on for the c coming year. And uh, please do consider subscribing uh, to my Patreon and helping me spend more time wor working on Inkscape. Thank you very much.